Hi guys, so um, today I'm going to do a review video of goggles for you, not sponsored. I purchased this with my own money and they didn't do anything for me to do this review. I just wanted to do this review because I haven't found very many reviews for this online. Um, so these glasses that I have on now are glasses from Costco. Um, this Kirkland brand uh, glasses. And I usually love Costco. Um, I've always gotten, well, a lot of lots of pairs of glasses and my husband's glasses there at Costco. And um, it's just this particular Costco. I don't know what's going on. But it, I'm not going to say where because I don't want to harp on Costco. I've been to many Costco's throughout the entire country, all over the United States, and I've never had an issue with Costco. But this one, I've gotten rotten fruits and vegetables the next day. Their bagels, which I've never had an issue with because I always buy them. And then the glasses department. Uh, this video is not about Costco, so I'm not going to go ahead and go into that, but if you want to know mm, more about my Costco experience, um, my regular experience, and at this particular location, comment down below, and um, if I get enough comments, I'll go ahead and make that video. But these are Costco glasses. Um, they're polycarbonate with anti-glare anti-scratch, um, antimicrobial, and um, the transitions coating, which is why you don't see, there's a window right here with a, in front right here with a huge glare, uh, which is why you don't see that on my glasses. You see it right here on the frame, the shiny part, but so, um, excuse me, my mom was texting me and I was reading it on my phone while I was doing the video. <clears throat> Sorry, a little distracted, haven't made videos in a while, but I'm back. Um, so <clears throat> these glasses cost $55 for the frames and they cost, I believe, $120 um, for the lenses. Now, the ones that I got in this package, which I've been so tempted to open, I got it yesterday, <clears throat> but I wanted to go ahead and make this video. So, um, hello dog. Maybe I should probably walk my dogs first so the puppy doesn't pee in the house. Excuse me. I'll come right back to this story. Life with animals. Be back in a second. And my excitement for the glasses. Okay, be right back. Sorry about that. My dogs decided to sleep in. And um, so I figured, oh, well, I could film a video since they decided to sleep in. And of course, as soon as I start filming, they wake up. And because I have a puppy, if I wait, he'll pee on my floor. Anyways, that's a rant. But now you can see I do have the transitions coating on my glasses. Sorry, there's a little bit of a glare from the computer, even though I have anti-glare. I'll put my head down here. I switched locations because my phone um, was on low power. I didn't charge it last night. So um, as you can see, I've got the transitions coating on my Costco glasses. Um, I prefer that just because it gives anti, uh, well, it gives UV protection and I don't have to switch from glasses to glasses, which is such a pain for me since I have a hard time keeping my glasses on anyways, just because I don't like wearing them. But that's a whole nother story. Um, so these are polycarbonate. Now what I ordered from glasses for you, uh, excuse me, goggles for you, um, is 1.5 index lenses, I believe they're called, which is plastic. Now I've never worn plastic lenses. I've always worn as a kid glass. And then um, when I got older, I switched to polycarbonate glasses, super heavy and breaks easily. and. I was always in the optometrist's office for repairs and stuff. But anyways, um, yeah, so I've never worn um, 
plastic and I don't know how that is but what I'm not understanding is I've looked at so many websites so many and I've contacted so many of their customer services and online they don't seem to do well maybe some do but it's super expensive but very few places do um, polycarbonate lenses with a transition sunglass coating <clears throat> photochromatic coating which is crazy I don't know why they don't do that um, I've asked why and they don't know that's just what it is um, so I wanted the transitions coating so I decided to go with the 1.5 index lenses and see how that would work out plus I got a special deal uh, goggles for you sends you lots of emails and I had a 55% off so I paid like $41 for this which included the shipping and I didn't pay for expedited shipping excuse me life with kids kids woke up right in the middle of filming of course they did um excuse the messy hair I haven't done it as I was just so excited to open these glasses and see how they work that um I need to make this video quick so um yes I don't know why they don't do polycarbonate uh with the transitions coating online if anybody could explain that in the dms or the comments or whatever please let me know why it's really hard to find or places don't do uh photochromatic transitions coating with a polycarbonate lens online because that's what i've always gotten at the optometrist or costco or wherever um but i'm already starting to rip open this package because i'm so stoked but um yeah let's open this up this is goggles for you i really like their customer service and they have an option online where you can live chat with the customer service agent which i did multiple times so um that was great and i've also ordered a pair uh with the 55 percent off discount code that i used for my child as well um so we'll see how those are when those come in but this is goggles for you now it took two weeks from I ordered it in the evening so that probably didn't count until the next day so from the time I ordered it to the day that it was shipped it took exactly two weeks and you can track it online so it says when they made the shipping code and when it was shipped it was exactly three days from the day they made their um, shipping code to the day it was delivered and it's only in Cerritos which is like driving distance to here so um, it's not like it's shipping from halfway across the country my photochromatic lens has not gone back to its regular color yet anyways we're gonna open these up it comes in a bubble wrapped package bubble wrapped package um, and it comes in this hard case this is a hard plastic case as opposed to what you would get at the optometrist office or the Costco this is uh, um, excuse me I'm trying to think of the word it's magnetic and um, it's got this fuzzy stuff on the inside this is my Costco case um, and then the glasses um, they are in this hard plastic case but it's very lightweight it's not like a heavyweight and it says goggles for you on it not sponsored I paid with my own money um, and then open it up and it's this fuzzy like felty material and it's got their address and info on here if any of you want to it's probably backwards in the camera but if any of you want to get that information you can go ahead and do that I'll put it on the screen for you um, pause the video if you wanted to get that so here's the glasses I ordered my current glasses are um, these glasses sorry I was trying to read the number for you I don't always remember but these are 49 18 140 so 49 <clears throat> is the lens size 18 is this bridge nose size so the lens size this way how wide it is then the 18 is the bridge nose size and 140 is how far it goes back here and I didn't like how it was so long um, but that's just me personally but this lens and rest of everything seems to fit me quite perfectly other than how long these are but that's just a personal preference it doesn't do anything to the how well the glasses are so um or the fitting or anything 
So you have to take those off. I know I am. I'm going. We're going to see how these look. So these are goggles for you. It has my name on it and a SKU number and United goggles States. For me. No, this is for mom. Now yours haven't came yet, but I ordered a. Did you got I think I ordered a child frame because I found that in my size. It's really hard to find my size because I'm either it's either too large or too small. So it's really hard to find something of like a 49. And I didn't want to go like 50, 51 or 52 because that's too big. And I didn't want to go 48, 47, 46 because I hate it when it's squished to my face. I like my glasses to fit like super loose. So let me take these off because I'm not like extremely blind. Excuse the tired look. Welcome to Life with Kids. Um, but, so, um, sorry, my kid was grabbing his tablet and I was just checking that he didn't pull out the electrical plug too hard, which he's done before. So it comes in this plastic. How do you open this? Okay, so it's like vacuum sealed. What do you call it? They sealed it right here. So I'm just going to peel the seal. How do you? I don't want to break the glasses. Um, so let me open it. They, they sealed it with like a heat seal. Um, so then the glasses come like this. I uh, In the description, I guess I can go ahead and put exactly which glasses there, but they come with this. And I have one of these exact ones that came from the optometrist office. No, it didn't come from the optometrist. I don't know where it came from. Probably somewhere online maybe Amazon or something like that. It doesn't have a name on it, but it's the same as this. Actually, this one's a little bit thicker, so it might work better, but those cheapy ones, I noticed they don't really clean very well and they just smear the grease around and I have a huge problem with dirty glasses. I hate them, which is why I got the, the hydrophobic coating on it. So that way it would be easily clean because I hate dirty glasses. Now, Okay, so the first thing I'm noticing is there was probably a sticker on it for a tracking sticker or a SKU number, and they left, let's see, this little sticky coating on it, and it's sticky. And then you can see there's that piece of paper on it. Not a big deal, I could probably take some goo gone or dish soap and wash that off. It's only on the arm, so that's not a big deal on the temple portion. Ooh, my hair is a big old mess, but let's open these up. Yes, as you see, I got a Paul Frank one. It was the shape and size that I wanted, but I didn't really like that it had this Paul Frank thing on the end. I thought it was only here on the, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, maybe you can't, because I gotta flip it over. There you go, you can see his Paul Frank on the, the backs too. Um, I didn't really care for that. And it's like a squishy like um, eraser material but this was the one frame that I liked. And it was really hard for me to find something in my size that I liked that worked with my face shape, like I said. So let's just open these up. They have a nice spring hinge. Um, they don't bend back or anything, but um, let's open these up. Goggles for you, it says on the um, cleaning cloth. Tip. If you want to wash your cleaning cloths, use dish soap and just wash it in the sink because the dish soap will remove all the oil. So here are the glasses. Let's put them on my face. Um, I've never worn 1.5 index lenses. I probably already said that. Plastic. I've only worn glass and polycarbonate. So I don't know how the vision quality is for that, but because I wanted the transitions coating, which I can show you outside, um, this is so here, th th that's all. So these are a uh, size uh, 50, 18, 140, so it's a little wider. But the reason I was okay with choosing 50 is because, I can always get these adjusted, but because these uh, bend in, I don't know if you can see that, but comparatively speaking to my regular glasses, just as an example so I can show you the difference, these are straight. Um, this way. Now, if you see on the other one, these bend in 
towards the middle just a little so it would squish to my head just a little bit more and because it's 50 instead of 49 it would probably fit just fine i don't know if that makes sense but you'll see those fit a little looser which is why they're 49 these fit a little tighter which is why they're 50s like clothing sizes you know fit different which is why I was okay with choosing a 50, but it's really hard buying online because you don't know whether or not it's going to fit, even if you choose your glasses size, but you can put your picture up there. And like most websites for buying glasses online, you can put your picture up there and um, try on all the glasses, see if the shape is good for you, but you just need to know your size. Um, so then I did get my prescription and my PD from the optometrist. So let's try these on. I don't really care for this little emblem design. I don't usually go for that, but I did really like these glasses. So that's why I went with them. Now I've been rambling for 10 minutes. So let's try these glasses on. Now these are the anti, can't tell if they're crooked. I think they are. Wait a minute. If they are, I can get them adjusted and that's okay because everybody's face shape is a little different. So I'm not knocking the company because they're crooked. The glasses are probably straight. I'm not sure, but once you try them on, you need to adjust them to the comfort of your face. Now they are a lot tighter than my 49s. Um, I guess they're not too crooked really. I guess I'm just not used to this. Um, but what do you guys think? Now, I'm trying to see whether or not this prescription, see, this is how it feels comfortable. And I think that's just because I need to get them adjusted um, at the optometrist. But um, for $41, can I see? I'm trying to see if I can see. Wow, they're clean. They cleaned them before sending. So I'm gonna try these on. And then the lenses from Costco, which I always love Costco lenses from the, their optometrist. Um, these are the polycarbonate and these are the 1.5 index lenses. MSI, I'm reading on the computer uh, just to see how I can see. So I'm sorry if you're seeing the glare from the computer, but I'm trying to read everything to see if it's pretty good. The lenses are very clear. Now let's try on these. Wow. Okay, you guys, I don't know how they made the prescription for these compared to these, but I'm reading on the screen with my polycarbonate lenses, and then I'm reading on the screen with these, and these look to be slightly more magnified. Now my prescription is a little bit confusing because I had an eye injury as a kid, which I can explain all about that in another video because this is really just the review for the goggles for you. Um, but they, um, I have the choice of going with single vision lenses for distance or I can go with a bifocal um, due to the fact that I need slight reading and distance. And I have that choice because there's that. But these are actually, comparatively speaking to the polycarbonate lenses. I don't know how they hold up over time. And I'm trying to see which one's more clear. Both these glasses are clean. I just cleaned them. So I'm trying to see which one is more clear. I'm reading on Reddit on my husband's computer to see which ones are more clear. And as far as clarity goes, they seem to be about the same. Now, um, the look, I really like this style. It's a new style for me. Um, so yeah, do I like these? Yes, I do. Um, are they worth the $41? Yes. It does have the anti-glare. As you can see, you're not seeing that glare from my computer. The shape and everything in my size works perfectly. I can see. It's a new, newer prescription that I'm still getting used to, so it's slightly blurred, but that's just because I need to get used to it. Um, and I was going to see maybe because it's so cheap, if I ordered, there's a dust particle, but maybe if I ordered a cheap, um, like, uh, I wanted to do the bifocals with the line, 
So maybe if I ordered a cheap bifocal with the line, that it would um, be, you know, I could test it out. I don't know if I would like the bifocals. So I figure since these websites are pretty cheap, um, I could go ahead and do that. And there will be a review also of my um, kids when his come. I'm trying to see where did I set that case down. Here it is. So the case, um, it's not as flimsy as I was expecting for being so cheap. It's actually a super nice case with this velvety stuff on it. And I'm going. And my glasses fit perfectly in here. Um, some larger glasses. These are pretty large frames. Uh, uh, the, the lenses, I mean, don't usually fit in something like this, but they fit just perfectly. Um, so yeah, do I recommend this? Yes. Will they hold up over time? I'm not sure, but they seem like a pretty, well, I ordered the TR90, whatever the lightest weight plastic is, because I hate heavy glasses, even though I have a very, um, weak prescription um i hate heavy glasses because um i just don't like it weighing down my face or making marks here you see i have a tan line from my other glasses but um these are very bendy like um, not bendable but you can see the plastic is super thin um so how it will hold up over time i'm not sure but these don't bend back or anything and it's very very stiff um what you call it these screws um, I'm not sure if you can see, but this one looks like that, and the other one looks like this. It needs to be just a little bit more tightened, which I can go ahead and do that. Um, but that's just my personal preference because I'm always worried about whether or not it's going to fall off. But before this video becomes a million hours long, I actually don't mind these little pieces right here. Um, they're not so big and out there and noticeable, like I don't like the Gucci design or anything on here or any, but it's very not noticeable. And I think these are also 140s. These are also 140s, but I don't mind them being as long back here because they curve in and they don't just stick out right here. So if I were to lay down like this, they wouldn't poke me, you know, um, and they fit well to my face and I guess they really aren't crooked. I'm just always like, crooked, I hate crooked. It bothers me so much, but they're pretty straight. And I like my glasses to be symmetrical. Um, so yeah, do I recommend goggles for you? So far I do. So in order to not make this video a million hours long, I've already been filming for probably a half hour. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the transitions coating so you can see how that looks and I can tell you how the clarity is. I chose the darkest version, not because I wanted the darkest version, but because the choices for polycarbonate, uh, I mean the choices for uh, photochromatic lenses are usually uh, green, um, I think yellow, and gray. They only had two color choices. I think they had the green and the, the, the gray brown, black, I think brown's also another choice, but um, I always like the gray because it looks the most natural and I don't like to see a green or a yellow coating. It's just tiresome to my eyes personally. But yeah, the anti-glare does work. As you can see, you're not seeing any glare from my camera or my lights. Um, and I got anti-scratch, I got hydrophobic. Um, I don't wanna get my glasses wet because I hate them getting dirty, but when I clean them, uh, I will go ahead and let you know, but it seems like these glasses are pretty good. Uh, so far, so good. So I'm going to cut to the polycarbonate, um, I mean, photochromatic lens, so you can go ahead and see that. And um, you can get your first pair of glasses for $10, but that's if you choose um, $10 shipped. And that's if you choose like a 699 frame with no coatings on it. So it would just be like the 1.5 index lenses, uh, like the generic ones with uh, no uh, bifocals, no coatings, no anti-scratch, no nothing. But for 10 bucks, you know, you could have a whole bunch of pairs of glasses. So you can switch out your styles and you might as well uh, do that because it's cheap and you can try them out. So if you scratch it, it's only 10 bucks. Um, so yeah, 
I give this a uh, two thumbs up. Sorry, two. Let me situate the camera here. I give it a trying to hold the camera so that I can do two thumbs in at the same time. But I give it a two thumbs up. So uh, yeah, I'll let you know how it works with the kid. He's a little bit more rough on his glasses, even though he's pretty gentle for a kid, he is still four. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for the review to see the transitions uh, sunglass coating on it. And um, yeah, and if not, then I'll see you guys later so enjoy the sunglass coating and uh that'll be the next clip so talk to you guys later bye okay so now you guys can see that i'm outside in the photochromatic lens that seems to be well it's the transitions brand so <clears throat> i assume well it i'm not assuming but it's the Transitions brand, so it's exactly the same as my other glasses, and I choose the same tint color as well. And they work quite well, and I see very clearly, just as clearly as I did with my polycarbonates. But I don't know, I'm trying to show you. Um, you can't see, but I'm trying to show you that I got the anti-glare coating. Now it doesn't bother me from the inside, but from the outside, in certain lighting situations, you can see the glare. Like right, ooh, I don't want to touch my lens, but right here you can kind of see the glare. But this gray one is the darkest that you can get, and it works really well. Excuse me, the reason I'm squinting is because it was so dark inside my house. And um, now I'm just getting outside for the day. Um, but yes, I do enjoy this coating. Now it's not going to be as dark as a regular sunglasses, but this website does do uh, sunglasses. Also, excuse the freeway noise. I'm trying to walk around and see if you can catch the glare on these glasses. I was walking over there and um, there was a glare that I saw in the camera. Um, you can't see it now, so I guess the anti-glare coating is working, but I've noticed that the anti-glare coating isn't as good as what you would get at, say, an optometrist's office <clears throat> or something like that which is okay for me because it doesn't bother me from the inside after I've been wearing them for a little while. I've noticed it doesn't, I don't see it from the inside, you just see it from the outside. So I can go ahead and I'll post a picture with flash of these glasses compared to my other glasses from the optometrist. And you can see um, that when you take a flash photo, you see the glare on the these glasses like the picture glare and you don't when you see it from the optometrist glasses hopefully that makes sense i'm sort of rambling now trying to walk and see if you can see the the glare in the coating maybe if i turn around guess not it does work pretty well um for most almost all situations it's just for you know, flash photography, <clears throat> it does make a big difference. But I don't normally take a lot of flash photography and that can be edited out in Photoshop anyways. But um, yeah, overall for $41 for hydrophobic coating, transition coating, um, 1.5 index lenses, which I think they're pretty clear and pretty good because I do have the anti-scratch on it. It should be much better because uh, plastic and polycarbonate are um, very soft compared to glass, so they would scratch easier anyway. So regardless of what lenses I get, I would have had that anyways. But yeah, what do you guys think of this shape? 
does it look good on me? I think I like it as a new thing and they look great as sunglasses. And I like that it goes way down here and I think I like 50 over 49 um, just because I don't see the light coming through down the bottom like I do with my square or rectangular ones. Um, but yeah, sorry that was a long video. That was rambling. Do I recommend? Yes. How will they hold up over time? Watch my videos, you'll find out. Um, do I need them adjusted? Turns out I really don't. Just my hair was getting in the way and I'm very picky about how things fit on my face. But yeah, goggles for you. Not a sponsor, wish it was, that was cool. Um, yeah, any other glasses companies online wanna sponsor me? I'll make your videos. These glasses are great. Um, so they have great customer service, great prices, and you can get your first pair shipped for 10 bucks, you know? So I know there's a ton of websites. This is the only one I've tried out personally. Um, so if you wanna try it, I'll make it easy for you guys and put the links down below. And if you like these, Paul Frank glasses, these are a child's frame, I believe. I'll put that link down there too. And um, yeah, since this is the Transitions brand uh, polycarbonate, I mean the Transitions brand um, photochromatic coating, um, it does change back to normal glasses quite quickly. Oh, there you go. See, did you see that? There was that line of glare. See, there you go. The right there. You see that line of glare? You don't get that with the anti-glare coating from the optometrist, um, from a quality optometrist. But besides that, I don't see that on the inside of my glasses. You just see that in a photo or in the camera, you see, you see it right there. But yeah, um, for 40 bucks, hey, I don't mind that because it doesn't hinder or bother the vision quality. It's still the same, you just see it in the camera. So, you know, yeah, all in all, great purchase. Really looking forward to, thumbs up, but I'm really looking forward to, um, getting my child's glasses in and he needs them pretty badly and we'll go ahead and do a review on those when they come in so yeah signing out now gonna go inside and these will turn to regular glasses they're a little bit slow in my opinion just because I have no patience but they take a couple of minutes only so it's actually extremely quickly. So yeah, I like the color. I like these glasses. This doesn't bother me as much as I thought they would because they're not as noticeable. But anyways, yeah, so signing out and thanks for watching. That was the review for Goggles For You. That rhymes and I didn't mean to, but yeah, bye guys. I was trying to make a cool ending, but then I ended the video, but I was trying to say, yeah, see the world through a new lens. So I guess that's it for now. Bye.